True Insights presents How to Open Your Psychic Third Eye Welcome to this training video on how to open your psychic third eye and to unlock your natural intuitive abilities. My name is Joe Gokaskis and I'm a professional psychic and energy healer based out of San Diego and I teach classes on psychic development. In part one of this video we'll go over what the third eye is in part two, I'll take you through a 15-minute guided meditation so you can practice seeing through your third eye. Then in part three, I'll share with you more resources should you want to develop your natural intuitive abilities even further. Part one, about the third eye. There are seven main chakras of the body. Each of these chakras are energy centers responsible for different energetic functions and are associated with various physical organs of the body. From the bottom, there's the first chakra, or root chakra, located at the base of the spine. The second chakra, or spleen chakra, located at the navel. The third chakra, or solar plexus chakra, located below your chest where your rib cages meet. The fourth chakra, or heart chakra, right in the center of your chest. The fifth chakra, or throat chakra, located at the base of your throat. The sixth chakra, third eye, in the middle of your forehead. The seventh chakra, or the crown chakra, right on top of your head. The sixth chakra is what we'll cover today. When a psychic or clairvoyant reads, many times you will see them with their eyes closed. Even with their eyes closed, the clairvoyant is essentially seeing images using the mind's eye, also known as the third eye. We know this third eye to be the sixth chakra. So how does the third eye work? The third eye helps the, the psychic to see energy. Normally, energy doesn't necessarily have a color that the naked eye can see. However, when a psychic sees the energy clairvoyantly, the psychic can see this energy in many different forms, such as colors, shapes, images, people, beings, or other various visions, and even seeing colors in your aura. Modern times and science has shown that there actually is a reason behind third eye visions that clairvoyants tap into. The third eye is associated with the pineal gland. The pineal gland is located right in the center of your head. It actually contains cells that are very similar to optical cells found in your eyes. Because of this, many modern day mystics now contend that the pineal gland is our connection to access the spirit world from the physical world. Part 2, a 15-minute guided meditation to help you open up and practice seeing through the third eye. So how do you tap into the sixth chakra and open up that third eye? First of all, it takes practice. The following meditation will guide you on how to set up your space energetically so you can start using your third eye or the sixth chakra. I want to emphasize that the more you practice this basic meditation, the more you can open up to your natural psychic abilities with your third eye. There's not necessarily a fast track to getting this. With even more psychic training, you could even start to perform readings for others. To set up, begin by finding a nice quiet spot where you can be free of interruptions. You can pause this video as needed while you get set up and sitting upright with your feet flat on the floor, arms and legs uncrossed. This all helps to keep the energy flowing during this meditation. And now with your eyes closed, you can go ahead and start by taking a few nice, deep, relaxing breaths. And as you breathe, you can begin to notice where your attention is. Wherever your attention is, it may still be at work or on a project or maybe with some past conversation. With gentle awareness, you can go ahead and breathe your full attention back into your body, bringing you more and more into present time. And as you breathe in more of your life force and awareness back to you, you can also exhale any energies that are not your energies. Just letting go of any foreign energies that can block your natural psychic abilities. 
And so with every exhale, giving you full permission to just let go, you can imagine these foreign energies falling all the way down to the center of the planet, just allowing gravity to take hold of those energies and taking them down, down, down. And from your body all the way down to the center of the planet, go ahead and you can imagine that there's a tube of energy. How about a, a healing green tube or whatever is your favorite color? And just start imagining that this tube of energy is connecting your body all the way down to the center of the planet, helping to anchor your body like a tree trunk safely rooted to the ground. As you get more and more rooted to the planet, the more rooted to the planet you become, the more centered you become, becoming more and more centered in your awareness. And breathe. And as your space gets more and more clear, you can now start bringing your attention right into the center of your head, where that center point between ear to ear intersects the center point from the front of your head to the back of your head. Just intuitively slide your attention and your awareness right into that center point, right where the pineal gland is, right in the middle of your head. And right there in the middle, you can imagine that there is a seat or a comfy chair so just imagine yourself walking over and sitting right on that comfy chair, just like you're sitting right now in your room, or like you're sitting in your own little intuitive command center. And while you're sitting in that chair, facing forward, even with your eyes still closed, you can start looking straight in front of you as if you're looking out through an open window right through the backside of your forehead, right out your third eye. And as you inhale and exhale some more, go ahead and start noticing and releasing any kind of effort or doubt or any other kinds of mental energy blocks. Just simply allowing yourself to just be. Sitting right in the middle of your head, allowing you to see more and more clearly through your third eye. And looking out through your third eye, what does your third eye look like? With a sense of play and amusement, just start to enjoy how your third eye looks, even if it might be a little different than what you had first imagined. Whatever you see, just postulate that what you're seeing is what you're supposed to see. And just breathe as your third eye comes more and more into focus, opening that third eye more and more. And now as you're looking out through your third eye, begin to imagine that there is a viewing screen in front of you. Kind of like a projector screen that you would see at a movie theater. And just postulate that the energies we will be taking a look at next can easily project from your third eye onto this screen. Like pictures of an action movie being projected onto a movie screen. 
And from a quiet place, as you're allowing the screen to come more and more into view, seeing more and more what your viewing screen looks like, just stay and be in the moment. Enjoy the view, as they say. Now on the screen, with a sense of play and imagination of a child, you can imagine projecting a gold bubble onto the middle of the screen, allowing this bubble, this gold bubble, to show itself nice and vividly, as if you can reach out and touch this gold bubble. How does the gold bubble look? How big or how small is the gold bubble? How does it look as it's floating in front of you? Now with your psychic finger moving towards the bubble, go ahead and pop that bubble. And just notice how that bubble looks, watching it vaporize into millions and millions of particles. How was that popping that bubble? Did you even feel a physical response? If not, that's okay. And now with your eyes still closed, let's move on to giving yourself a mini reading. And so you can go ahead and start to psychically and intuitively pose a question. You can start off by asking yourself, what is my next step as I expand my awareness with the third eye? What's my next step as I expand my awareness with the third eye? While being still and silent for a moment, just watch as the answer to your question starts projecting as an energy right onto your viewing screen. What do you see? Maybe you can start to see a, a flash of color or even a swirl or even some kind of formation. Maybe you can start to see images flashing or flickering before you. Even shapes or even outlines of people. Or it might just be completely undefined and yet you sense that there definitely is some kind of energy there starting to take shape. You might start to sense, feel, or hear some messages that seem to be coming from a higher intuitive place. Whatever it is that you might see, sense, feel, or hear, even if it makes no sense at first, just postulate that it's no accident that these images are coming into your awareness from the universe, projecting right onto that reading screen of yours. And as you're looking at these images, you can go ahead and go ahead and ask intuitively, what do these images mean? What do these images that I'm seeing and sensing, what do they mean? What's the meaning or the message about my next step when it comes to opening my third eye?
No need to overthink it. Instead, you can just be accepting of whatever messages come your way. Perhaps opening your third eye can help you see the world differently. Or perhaps it'll help you gain a greater sense of awareness in the world. Whatever answer you get, again, just postulate it's no accident that you're getting that message. And that message is just right for you. And now let's go ahead and start to come out of this trance. And if you had seen something great, if not, just keep practicing. And from your mind's eye, you can begin forming that connection to the earth once again. It could be another green tube of energy or whatever is your favorite color. Connecting your body all the way down to the center of the planet, like an anchor of a ship going down, down, down. And with this green tube of energy, you can just allow any energies you saw in the reading to drain away like water going down a drain. And you could even start letting go of any energy you might have gotten from me or, or this video. Just allowing gravity to help you gently release, clearing your space more and more. And for now, you can even start releasing and letting go of your, your viewing screen while also allowing your third eye to relax and reset more and more. And now from your mind's eye, you can begin forming a big golden sun of about three feet up above your head, allowing this golden ball of energy to become larger and larger. And when this gold sun is all nice and full, Go ahead and start inviting this golden energy from the gold sun to fill you up, helping to nourish every cell of your body, allowing you to come back more and more into present time. All while noticing how that nourishing golden energy feels to your body. And when you're all filled up, with this golden energy from the tips of your toes all the way back up to the top of your head and even out into your aura. You can open your eyes, stretch out a bit and come completely out of trance. How was that? Now, if that was just your first time and you didn't really see anything, that's okay. As mentioned before, it takes practice. Now as a tip, even if all you saw were what you think was just imaginary or you think that was just your imagination, many times those are first signs of opening up to your third eye. Just go with it and you can keep expanding upon that. Eventually you will see colors and images more vividly with daily practice. After practicing this a few times, Feel free to share what visions you saw in the comments below. Remember, this was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to psychic development. Part three, one more practice opening up the third eye. Here are some psychic training resources for you to check out. Well, I'm glad you made it this far and I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to open up your psychic third eye. For more psychic training resources, Download a free ebook that goes right along with this video at trueinsights.net slash third dash I dash open. This free downloadable ebook includes the steps outlined in this video, along with extra tips and more links to other psychic training resources available at trueinsights.net. Monthly webinars and one on one energy coaching is also available. Lastly, there are times when you might feel stuck, are in need of clarity, or have any pressing spiritual issues or questions going on with, with your life. If this is the case, then you can gain some clarity. 
with a professional psychic reading and energy healing. Please visit my website at www.trueinsights.net. You can schedule an appointment for a professional psychic reading and energy healing session with me, which you can book right on my website. Sessions are available either in person in San Diego or via phone or Skype if you live outside of San Diego or even outside the U.S. For any other questions or inquiries, feel free to visit my site at www.trueinsights.net. Thanks for watching.